Hello, my name is Emily and I am one of the co-founders of Books for Change. Books for Change is about amplifying voices that are often not heard enough. Today, I am amplifying the voice of the Palestinian people by reading this book, Baba, What Does My Name Mean? A Journey to Palestine by Rafiq Abid. This book is available to, di to buy directly from the author and you can follow her on Instagram at Baba, What Does My Name Mean? Currently, she is amplifying the voice of the Palestinian people and how we can help get involved and talk more about what is currently going on there. So this book is really beautiful and it's really important. It starts off with the little girl who's called Samide and she's asking her Boba, Boba, what does my name mean? And he explains to her that Samide is an Arabic word for one who is patient, persistence, and one who perseveres, one who will fight for their rights without any fear. And we named you this because you are a Palestinian. So she's asking her Bobo to learn more about her home city, Palestine. And we're going to go on this journey with Samaday through the book. So she closes her eyes and he takes her on the journey. And here is the beautiful little map, which is really good for talking to children about the geography side of how things are laid out there as well in Palestine. So the mountains, the hills, the deserts and the plains, all part of Palestine's unique terrain. So they go to Aria and they ride up this ancient staircase, which is called the Tel Al Sultan. And then they go on and she talks to um, the reader all about the mosque there and her religion and the different foods that she eats. She takes us on this journey to go and eat this cake food, which is um, a delicacy. It's delicious, um, stuffed baked eggs, flaffle, tomatoes. And she's really explaining in a lot of detail. So that's really good to talk to children about different foods in different countries. Um, and what they are. So after the savoury, we go on to eat the sweet treat, which is called a nablus treat, which is a cheesy dessert drenched in syrup made with shredded wheat. So again, really good talking point with children about different foods in different countries. So after that, they go um, along the Mediterranean coast to Jaffa, um, which is a gorgeous city that Palestinians fondly call the Bride of the Sea. And they're travelling all the way through and so the whole story is this journey this beautiful gentle journey taking through all the cities and the different towns and the different places and all the different aspects of the town it goes into real detail um, about the dancing about the food and the culture and here they go to Gaza and Sami Day learns all about carpet making and then they go on and they learn about glass blowing here in al -Kah. Kahalil, which is here and she's learning all about the different trades and what people do there for a living and at the end of the story it's just beautiful the way it really has taken us on this real sort of adventure journey and now the story has come to an end and I want to leave you with this symbol of Palestine as my final surprise it's a superhero cape that you can wear with pride I also want you to have this hand-stitched Palestinian throb or dress. The design and style are unique to Jaffa, which is your hometown from which you were dispossessed. Salam. I know what my superhero power will be. I will fly all around the world and open people's minds using my key. I will unlock all the truths about Palestine and educate everyone about its true history. Through persistence and perseverance, I know that one day we will be free. And then she opens her eyes and she says to Boba, I love Palestine. And she asks him, but until then, can you tell me, Boba, what made me a refugee? And Boba takes a deep breath and smiles softly. Let's save that conversation for tomorrow's bedtime story. So it's a really, really important book um, to help you start a conversation with your children around what is currently happening in Palestine. Um, obviously, at the end of the story, Samide asks her Bobo why she is a refugee. And this is another incredible book. This is called What is a Refugee by Elise Gravel. And it's really um, simplistic in the way that it explains things. It's very 
it's got a lot of bigger pictures and smaller simple text um, around what is a refugee really important and then this book which is called where are you from by Yamel Saeed Mendez again um, this is a picture book which has got um, mainly focuses obviously on the imagery and the text is is minimal but again it's really really important when asking the questions around where are you from um, where you belong etc currently we only have one copy of this book but we are absolutely committed to getting hold of some more copies of this and we will be putting it into our little free library so please please do get in contact if you would like to borrow this book to start that conversation thank you mm -hmm.